Welcome back for part three, the melody. How you doing? Need a little break? You can take a little break, do a little stretch, get some water. That was water, not water, remember? Uh, if you want to put a little lemon in it, that can help with saliva. Or do a little spray. Sometimes I do a spray or some mouthwash before I go on stage, on film. Uh, or a speech can be helpful. And we'll jump right in to the melody. What I mean by that, da 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 da, if I'm singing a song, dee 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 the distance between those two notes is an interval. I'm going to use that word a lot because it's very important. If if in, if I if I say uh, today, and you say today, not all that different. It's a little different, but suddenly you're in a different country. Today, today, today. The more you can pay attention to the melody, you know, that's the section we're on right now, so focus a little bit less on the vowels and consonants and a little bit more on the notes. And it can be very helpful to record yourself on your phone or your computer or if you have a good other system. I highly recommend that. So, we'll begin with statements. If it ends with a period, it's a statement. I've got a couple of exclamations in here just to mix it up a little but um, differentiating between statements and questions. Hi. Hi. Notice the notes and match it if you can. Hello. Hello. I'm gonna give you a couple different ones. My name is Amy. You can substitute your name if you want. My name is Amy. My name is Amy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Da, 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 da. If I went da, 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 da. Mm, no, I guess that would be hard. But sometimes with, with particular ones, you can, you can tell what it is even without the words. Or if I went da, 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 da. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Sure. Sure. I'd love to. Da da da. I'd love to. I'd love to. Da da da. I did it. Da da da. I did it. Or, I did it. Yes. Yes. Yes! <laughs> There's an exclamation. So to, just to show you the difference. Thank you. Thank you. Da da or da da. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks. Da da. Yeah, thanks. Or yeah, thanks. I don't know. This is one that you wouldn't even need if I just went, uh. -huh. Everyone in America would know what I meant. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know. Da da da. And it kind of does a little flip at the end. Da da da. I don't know. Absolutely. Absolutely. Or absolutely. Da 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 da. <laughs> the melody of that plane right now. It's an American melody. No. <laughs> Awesome. Awesome. Da da. Awesome. Da da. Awesome. Da da. Totally. Da da da. Totally. No problem. No problem. Da da da. Da da da. No problem. Because. Because. Often we don't put the B-E in there, it's just cuz. So you'll notice that one of the things that's happening nowadays, you know, through time, is that our voices are getting lower. 
women's voices didn't used to be as low as mine is now. Um, it all kind of gets flattened and truncated a little bit, like there's more gravity to this accent for some reason. There's not a whole lot of variation, particularly with statements, there's less. So that's why the subtleties are even more important, that they get flattened out in the right way, and that when you do vary the pitch, that, that they're the right intervals. Questions. They teach you in school that if it's a question, you're supposed to go up at the end. You're supposed to go up at the end? One of the tricky things about that is that presently, there's this kind of worldwide trend, not just in this country, but we get most of the flack for it, but all over the world, where you go up at the end, even if it's a statement. Um, yeah, my name is Amy. And the confusing thing about that is that it, it sounds like a question. In this country, if it's a question, hello, it goes up at the end. Da-da, hello, if I'm answering the phone, hello, hello. There's another phone answer. <laughs> How are you? How are you? I know it goes down, up, down, but it kind of flicks at the end as well. How are you? How are you? Da da da. Do you want some? And that, do you remember the Jew? Do, do you want some? Do you want some? Would you like some? It's a little bit more formal. So if you're going for a more formal, would you like some? Would you like some? Would you like some? Do you want some? Do you want to come with me? Do you want to come with me? Da 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 da. Do you want to come with me? That's up to speed. Do you want to come with me? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Da, da 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 We'll get a little bit more into the stress and rhythm later, but I want you to notice that if you if I emphasize the you there, it changes the melody as well as the stress. Melody, so when I emphasize it, it wasn't just that I gave it more energy, I also gave it more pitch, or a higher pitch. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? I wouldn't really say that, but which one? Which one? Which one? What's your name? What's your name? Da da da. What's your name? Your, there's a good truncation for you. Versus your, your. What's your name? What's your name? So then I didn't say, when I emphasize the you, it wasn't your, it was what's your name? Your again, what's your name? I'm Amy, by the way. I'm whatever your name is. I'm Amy, by the way. What's your name? I put by the way in there so that you know what it's like when we have a comma, a little other comma. Do you ever go to the movies? Go to the... Go to the, go to the, go to the. Do you ever go to the movies? 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 Good. Here are some exclamations. Hi! Hi! It gets higher, doesn't it? When our energy, when we get excited and our energy rises, often our pitch rises as well. Hi! Yes! Love it! Dada! Love it! How are you? Love it! Sometimes we'll put a little sing-songy, we'll call that sing-songy, love it, when it gets a little bit more of a melody. Shoot! <laughs> you can substitute other words in there if you wish, but this is a family show, so I'll leave that up to you. It's so good to see you. 
It's so good to see you. It's so good to see you. Good. Again, letting it come out from your intention within, from your body that you've warmed up, right? <laughs> and letting that energy raise the pitch if it wants to. Hi, duh. Good. Now we'll get into some practice contemporary dialogue. This, you'll notice, the thing about contemporary is I've put all these mitigators in there. Mitigators are the words like, um, oh, yeah, like, particularly at the beginning of the sentence. Because we use them, we just do. It's the way we talk now. Particularly, this is a phone conversation, a little practice phone conversation. Um, so I put them in there because I'm writing it how people often talk. Not everyone, but quite a few. And if you're playing a contemporary role uh, or want to just talk with people, this would be helpful for you. I'm going to read it through slowly, both parts all the way through first, and then I will read just the A and leave the B for you, and then I'll read just the B and leave the A for you. And I'll read the, those last two I will do to speed. By to speed, I mean to the speed people naturally speak in. So. Hello? Hi, it's Amy. Hey, how are you? Good, thanks. How are you? Good, yeah, I'm fine. What's up? Oh, I was just wondering if you want to go to the movie tonight, if you're not busy. Oh, what's playing? Um, Connected, actually. That awesome-looking family comedy drama one. Oh, yeah, I totally want to see that. What time? Uh, 6.15, 8.30, and 9.45. How about the 8.30, huh? Yeah, 8.30 is good. Want to do dinner first? Sure. Maybe Thai? For sure. Let's go to that one place. Yeah, they have the best Thai iced tea. Sweet. Meet you there, yeah? Perfect. So I'll do just the A part. Hello. Hey, how are you? Good, yeah, I'm fine. What's up? Oh, what's playing? Oh yeah, I totally want to see that. What time? Yeah, 8.30 is good. Want to do dinner first? For sure. Let's go to that one place. Sweet. Meet you there, yeah? And then you can do part A and I'll do B. Hi, it's Amy. Good, thanks, how are you? Oh, I was just wondering if you want to go to the movie tonight, if you're not busy. Um, connected, actually. <laughs> that awesome looking family comedy drama one. Uh, 6.15, 8.30, and 9.45. How about the 8.30, huh? Sure. Maybe Thai? Yeah, they have the best Thai iced tea. Perfect. And we ended on perfect. Good! So you can practice that quite a bit. I also recommend... Da -da 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 -da. Just pay attention to the melody. When you watch TV or films, whatever you like to watch or listen to, close your eyes sometimes and just try and match the melody. You know, you can pause it and listen closely to the melody. Good, and we'll move on to part four.